Girls High School soccer underway in Michigan. Bedford battling for its first win of the year against Ann Arbor Skyline. Skyline struck first. Sophia Morgan's cross connects with Emily Chung. Second chance finds the netting to make it 1-0. Now that's the score at the half. 2-0 early in the second. Olivia Kruk beats both defenders and lights a firecracker over the keeper to cut Bedford's deficit in half. Now the kicking mules kept pushing, but that's all they get. Skyline scores again, picking up the 3-1 victory. It's one of those things where we came off a of back-to-back, had uh, Ann Arbor Pioneer last night, 7 o'clock. Um, so you could definitely tell there were some tired legs. We're, we're building is really what it comes down to. Three girls that have true varsity experience at this point, but played with a very good Skyline team tonight, uh, battled through a lot of adversity, some injuries and whatnot, and, and yeah, really put together what, what I would say would be a good game for us. BCSN's Mason Lowry had the call and joins us from Michigan. Well, the scheduling gods did not give the Bedford Kicking Mules any favors at all to start this season. Two games in 24 hours against powerhouses from Ann Arbor. They went on the road and played Pioneer last night, lost 4-0 up at Holloway Field, but came back here tonight for their home opener. Of course, they lost 3-1 to Skyline, but I think this was a really, really solid Bedford performance, and it all started with them being able to keep their shape and being well organized defensively. Skyline as a program, they hang their hat on being really technically gifted. They like to knock the ball around, play it to feet. Bedford closed off a lot of passing lanes, made it really, really difficult for Skyline to get the three goals that they did. And I'm sure the goal that Olivia Kruk scored in the second half has to fill this kicking mules team with confidence. Another thing that I really loved about this performance, their stick to itiveness, if you will. They went down 2 0 early in the second half and Kruk got her goal less than a minute after that. So Bedford may have started this season 0-2, but I think Coach Kuzno has a lot to like about this performance, and I think he's learned a lot of really good things about his team in the last 24 hours.